First, this new time, though, the latest on that developing news story, a deadly plane crash you saw first on WPRI.com last night. A small plane ends up crashing right into a Plainville home. Three people in the plane were killed. The family who lives there completely shaken by the experience. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell joins us live with the very latest in Plainville now. Danielle, the NTSB is here investigating, and just a short time ago, we spoke with the man who used to live in that house. He says even looking at all of that destruction, he knows his family is fortunate. When a small plane crashed into this home in Plainville, three people on board died, but the family living here was able to escape to safety. Aaron Rice spoke with us this morning about what his family is going through. It's been a long night. Uh, family uh, got rest thanks to neighbors uh, and friends and uh, you know we're recovering from just trying to figure out what's next because the people in the plane didn't come out of this alive that's probably where your attention needs to lie uh, you know we need to have you know support for that family uh, they're in far graver circumstances than we are um, you know, we'll get through this. Hopefully they will too. Rice tells us his wife and two children, a 10 year old and a 14 year old were upstairs when the plane hit. Rice was inside on the ground floor. We heard the loud bang. Uh, as some of the neighbors have said, we live close to a quarry. Uh, so you're used to explosions here and kind of the house shaking. But then when I saw the fireball go down the back of the house, we realized it was a little more serious than that. And uh, we shouted the kids to get out of the house. We're fortunate. Uh, we're surrounded by people that love us. That's fantastic. We're able to, uh, to take solace in that at least. According to a spokesperson for the FAA, the plane was headed to Norwood Memorial Airport in Massachusetts from Lancaster Airport in Pennsylvania. We were able to listen to a recording with air traffic control. The pilot told air traffic control he was having engine trouble throughout the entire recording. The pilot remains very calm, cool, collected, and then a few minutes in, there's simply no response from the cockpit. So far, the names of the victims have not been released, but of course, we're going to stay here, bring you all of the very latest online and beginning right here live at 5 for now live in Plainville with the Mobile Newsroom. Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.